up, y'all? What's up, guys? This video isn't live. Um, for various reasons. Because they say you shouldn't go live while driving. Um, so it's just, it's just being recorded. I don't know if I have time to edit it and do all that stuff. But I'm just back to tell people, let them know to go after your dreams, man. Stop. Stop waiting. Stop relying on other people uh, as much as possible. Because your timeline and their timeline is, is a lot different. Your timeline, you should be gunning for your success, your prosperity, wealth, and abundance. Get rich for yourself. And then, and only then, once you've done that, can you help other people. If your goal, if your desire is to help others, you can only do that once you've helped yourself. And the only way to do that is to be selfish, you know? So don't ever feel bad if you're selfish. Like, don't feel bad, especially if you're selfish because you have to be in order to help others there's you know there's a good balance in life there really is so i'm actually just on my way to kroger right now they've got this really nice big bottle of uh, wine they might have it other places too. They might, but oh yeah. I'll be going live more often, just so people can see, sort of, you know, what types of things happen and occur and can happen and occur you know when you follow your dreams become a slave for yourself maybe even learn how to drive i feel like more people just need to learn how to drive like get mad when you're trying to pass them up and go fast yeah because i don't want to be around you when an accident happens when you don't use your turn signal you know when you're just not paying attention anyways guys this is stuff that i like to talk about rant about nobody ever really listens but i know there might be somebody out there that does um there's somebody out there who can take my message and you know really learn from that utilize it and just transform their situation because you know money is great but as someone else once commented on my videos it is an illusion money itself is not gonna necessarily change your circumstance history has proven that there's people that come into money real quick and you know I mean, they, they lose it sooner than they got it. So while I do, I love to help people out with money. You know, I, I'm being more, I'm being more particular on who I'm giving that to. Um, there's somebody now who says that they can use a certain amount of money to help their dog. You know, they're saying that their dog is gonna pass away unless they get this surgery and you know they, they really need the surgery um, and then you know there's people out there who are being evicted uh, people out there who you know might not have any money whatsoever people who can't eat and then guys I, I have people who are homeless too people who are homeless with nowhere to go um, some, I mean, some fortunate ones are living in their car right now. Um, one guy 
you know, a little bit about me is like I don't I don't like the term homeless. So. Yo. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Good man. How you doing? Good man. Yeah. I just I saw you. I'm like I know I recognize you. Oh, uh, maybe. Does it need it? Oh, really? I might do that. What's up, guys? Just uh, stopped in the middle of the road to I ran into somebody at the who does the car wash my bad I'm all over the place um, yeah yeah it's funny like when you when you drive one car like people will put you in a box they only think that that car is yours right so they instantly they, they bring you down sort of a, a category uh, based on the car that you're driving, let alone the clothes that you're wearing. But when you go when you go back in another car, they think what? They think that that car is rented. They think that that car is someone else's. Okay, well, what if you go back with another car, and another car, and another car, and then after about ten cars, you know that you're going to this car wash and, and paying, they they really start to wonder what it is that you do. And I'm like. If I've driven 14 different cars through this place, why would you think I only do one thing? You know, like, I almost do as many things as the number of cars that I have. And that's why I keep blessing myself with more and more. And now it's about, okay, now that I'm blessed with them, how can I maintain them? Many people don't, don't get that, right? Many people can't even get a single Lamborghini because they couldn't, they couldn't manage a Lamborghini. They could not take care of it. They couldn't maintain it. So how, you know, they might have a Lamborghini for a day. They might have it for a month. Some might have it for five years. But how many people actually have it for a very long time? Those are the ones that are taking care of it, maintaining it. Whether it's themselves actually sitting there doing the work detailing it or just knowingly like every week knowing you got to get it washed it can't just be sitting there accumulating dirt and dust and debris under the hood and on the outside when you take care of the things you know and people don't feel like like those things are blessings right because because they went out and worked for it and it's theirs but in reality, like that's that's not the case. When people get successful, they feel entitled to that success. They feel like it's theirs. No. Like no matter how much work I manually do, I manually put out, the universe is gonna be working a lot harder, a lot more to even just keep me alive, right? To even just keep me alive and in good health, shape, and condition, the universe works hard to prevent asteroids from freaking destroying us. Like every day, every other week, the odds are against us. So, you know, a little bit of success here and there really isn't much, let alone is it really even mine. God, when you start to think that way, I promise you, I promise you some things will change. Yeah. When you get when you get these cars, guys, you, you really don't want to park them um, close to anybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my extra steps in. I'm gonna park towards the back of the back of the parking lot. Because I got I got stuff to do today.
that's another thing man society they just want you kind of stuck they want you trapped right the 15 20 30 minutes that i could save is uh It's, it's worth it, man. I'm sorry, like, I'm not sorry. value something more than the value that it actually physically holds value things that way everything shoes clothes cars money value those things that you can get a lot more when you do that you can get a lot more throughout life you can get a lot more for yourself at the end of the day it's not really about what you get in return because return implies some type of invested I don't invest in the people anymore that's the worst thing you could do is to invest into another person when people are only in it for themselves. And unfortunately, we have to think that way. We have to think that everybody else is only in it for themselves, not for other people, let alone for you. So don't invest. Don't let people borrow money. Don't let people borrow time because the chances are you will never get that back. Once you've separated with those things, assume they're gone. It's given away. It's given away. Now, some people will feel compelled or entitled to pay something back. And hey, if they're able to do that, they themselves might get something more in return. You know what? I actually didn't even have time. Shoot. I came all this way. I came all this freaking way. <laughs> I got here. I passed by the cops. And I don't even have my wallet. Don't even have my wallet. Like, what? That's not like me, guys. I take my wallet everywhere. You know, not necessarily because I'm black, but also because, you know, I'm black. I'm in the South. And without that ID, they can't identify me. So that's, that's completely unlike me. Everything happens for a reason. I know that given my scenario, you know, tonight is a way that I celebrate myself and my accomplishments. Tonight is a way I celebrate myself and my accomplishments. And I do that also by giving away and celebrating others.
I wish this was live right now. But I just got this phone. So that's like nine. This is my nine phones. Not like I've only bought nine phones. I mean, I have nine cell phones. Um, and it's like you have to have time to sit there and go get service on it. Right? But that's another, another plan, like another. I mean, just going into a place. Like, every time you go somewhere nowadays, right? Let me, let me, guys, let me give you a breakdown. We've got 22 cars, nine cell phones. And then there's certain things that I'm not even comfortable with disclosing yet with the world, you know? But just with the, the stuff I am. I'm testing the boundaries with to see what happens because I'm not even talking about all my weapons I'm not talking about any other like assets but just that stuff everywhere you go is it costs time right waiting in line for five minutes you know when you just worked a eight hour nine hour day and you know, you're getting benefits and insurance. That's different when you're self-employed and you make a lot more for your time. Every minute, you know, you're making more than someone who is uh, employed, you know? For them, it's a lot more easier to calculate their salary because they know exactly what they're getting but you know when you're able to get when you're able to realize that there's an unlimited amount of money out there that you can make how do you turn it off like how do you stop let's just say you made four hundred dollars an hour right would you only work eight hours a day or would you work 12 hours a day would you work 20 hours a day would you even work $23 a day? And I know it's different. It's going to be completely different for everybody. Because some people, you know, are comfortable with certain things. Some people are comfortable, like, boom, like, once they have a house, it doesn't even matter what house, any house. Once they have a house and a car and a career, something that they can continually do to make that money for the next 20 years until they can retire they're okay with that and I've always I've never put those people down right so I don't know why people especially those people or anybody has put me down I don't put anyone down for their hopes aspirations wants and dreams the only thing I've ever done was try to communicate and work closely with the ones who want more right like a house is a, is a really big commitment like you know you're, you're instantly taking on a commitment that's going to last three times longer than the life of some people's dogs, right? And some, in amount, that's much more, you know? But some people, they feel more comfortable when they can pay it in cash or X, Y, and Z, but they don't really know what they're getting themselves into when it comes to the cost of maintaining that. And not just maintaining it, for the purpose of cleaning and vacuuming, but like actually maintaining that asset. Because it's not about the dream, it's not about the dream of, you know, having a house because everybody around you, in their mind, like that's what makes you succeed. No, it's about the sake of being grateful for having a home, you know, and you're not having to move every year or if that's, if, that's, if that's what you want to do. Like, if, if you want to stay in one place for the next 30 years, you know, then there, there's, a, there's a way to do that. And, I mean, man, I help people. 
in a lot of ways. Throughout, through my companies, through my expertise, my knowledge, my skill set, I help people. And in some cases, I get paid to do it. And in some cases, I do it for free because I care. But I will say that I think the world deserves to see, the world deserves to notice that yeah, maybe this person who was asking for $100 might not really need it, you know. But it's, it's better for me to give, you know, $100 to a little kid so he can play some online video game, you know, than for somebody who isn't going to be grateful or appreciate that, you know. At the end of the day, that's, that's what it's about. If somebody actually needs the help and they express it and they verbalize it, it's better than the ones that aren't, you know, and at the same time, it's better that there's somebody there or something there that can actually respond to those requests. Because at the end of the day, you know, like what I've seen countless times and also what I've experienced and heard other people say is, yeah, they have family, they have friends, like everybody does nowadays with social media. You have acquaintances, but if you were gonna starve, if you're getting evicted, who, who's actually there to help? Who is actually gonna prevent that from happening? And to some people like, oh, I'm flexing this, this, and that. Like, how am I flexing when I'm giving away? How am I flexing when, you know, 90% of people are saying it's fake. So I'm sitting here making content to show you me going into the bank, withdrawing it, you know, got the withdrawal slip. That's flexing, okay. Then, I mean, and if that's the case, what are they gonna say when I have a lot more for myself, when I can do a lot more for myself than I could do today? Because I hate to break it to you, I'm never satisfied. And I will never be satisfied. Like I will always be hungry for more. And I know that's that's different for a lot of people. You know, like get what you can. Get the house, get the job, get the car and then be content, right? Be content for the next 40 years and then what? Realize that you'll have to still be working because even getting two retirement checks, if you're lucky to have retired from two companies and have social security, Medicare, Medicaid, I promise you, you will still need another stream of income because by then inflation, the value of what a single dollar can do let alone the amount that you have, is not gonna be enough to live on. That I can assure you. So, you know, I always encourage people like, the economy has its flaws, but some of those flaws are just opportunities for people see and want more that's why people come to america to start their own businesses to live their own dream and yes it's harsh yes it's brutal but it's because you have to you can't ever be complacent you can't be complacent just with 20 you know 20 a month 20 customers 20 clients 20 thousand 20 anything when you reach the 20 you need a hundred Right? When you reach a hundred, you need more, a thousand. When you reach a thousand, you need five thousand. I mean, for years, for years, I've been telling people how the 1% live, think, and operate. And for years, people are wondering what new gimmick, what new scheme am I doing? Like, I'm not. Every time I start something, every time I do something, I, I'm very successful at it because I give it everything I got, I push it to the max, and then I make it another stream of income or another stream of something that is gonna bring me 
you know, more time, more value. This is crazy. Why is she? People are crazy the way they drive. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Hmm. I guess I parked it down here. I still can't believe I left. I got all the way there inside the store. My phone's going off too. So yeah. Who knows? Maybe I could find like a good video person or team that can give me more time to focus and concentrate. Cause I, I got a message. I got stuff to say for people to hear. You know, big time, big time, big time. And I mean, I know to some people, they might look at this and not realize that Honda Civic boom back there was my boom Corvette. Like that three series I just saw, the course. Man, not even to mention the Maserati. The Maz, the Maserati, look at that. That's just what I have here right now. I got stuff at the shop. I got stuff. Man, I got people borrowing my cars. Long term. buddies uh he's got an i8 you know but he's getting his shit so you know and he's he's pretty much in town to start up a food truck and of course i'm like hey i'm gonna do the marketing and stuff but i'm letting him around my my s5 you know and hopefully i say rent because that's what everybody thinks nowadays like a rental or a lease like, or uh, just borrow and pay. I have those two. Doesn't have to be a business. I got people that borrow my clothes. Anyways, I got invited to this event tomorrow. Got invited to this event. And it's for credit. I think it's going to be a pretty big project. So, that's another thing I'm celebrating. Um, I'll see how much of that I can record. But for now, I got to go, y'all. Catch you on the flip.